Hey, how's it going, guys? Uh, today I'm going to be doing a short tutorial on how to show you guys to keep the files that you've uploaded to online sites from not getting to delete it. Now, these are the files that you've shared with the public, and you may realize that the files keep on getting deleted. Uh, for example, sites like RapidGator, DepositFileUploaded.net, Mega, RapidShare, MediaFire, uh, I'm sorry, FireDrive, MediaFire, etc., they intend to delete your files uh, for no reason. Uh, there are actually many reasons that cause that. Reason number one, because you have shared with um you you uploaded file with the public, it gets many downloads, and since the file gets many downloads by different countries and different servers, the site uh recognizes the file as some copyright owned content. For example, a, a movie, a game, or software, and they intend to delete the file from your account. Reason number two, uh, just like YouTube, sites like this have a content ID thing. So, for example, if you upload a movie, uh, movie clip or or part of a game, an EXE file, it can detect that this game does not belong to you, and you do not have any um, rights from the owner, and it takes down the file. Now, this is very annoying when you upload uh, files of your own. For example, a, a video tutorial you've made, and you try to share it for, to, from uh, to people, and it keeps getting deleted. So I'm going to do a short tutorial on how to show you guys how to not get the files deleted from sites like this and keep it uh, safe. Uh, now before I start the tutorial, I want to say that I do not approve of you sharing movies and games and software and etc. that does not belong to you and this is just for personal use and how to keep your files that you shared with the public uh, safe and not get deleted. So uh, I'm going to use one of my uh, video clips. Uh, this is actually a video from my channel, How to Watch 3D Movies on uh, any PC. I've downloaded that. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna use this example and show you how to upload it. Now uh, this readme.txt is really important. Now uh, you, all you need to do is make a, a text file and call it whatever you want. I call it readme, and I typed in hope you enjoy the video. Um, visit my website and channel for more. Uh, you may actually notice these uh, readme text when you download um, certain files from the internet or if you do peer to peer. You may realize that that uh, files are RARs and SIPs contain this file. And it does two things actually. Not a lot of people know this, but uh, reason number one, it uh, obviously promotes the website. People look into it, and you can go to the website and can promote it. But reason number two, uh, very important, this actually causes what's inside the zip or RARA file to um, um, to cause it from reading uh, from something different. Uh, it's quite advanced to explain it actually, but to put it more simply. Uh, if, I'm going to take this movie file. If you compress the movie file with the README text, the site cannot read it as a movie file. It reads it as a document file. So if you up, if you compress this uh, movie file by itself, the site can detect it as just a movie file and it can delete it. But if you compress it with the README text, the site detects it as a document file that belongs to you and that you've created and they will not take it down because they would have to face a lot of trouble from getting sued and etc. And if that makes any sense. So to put in simple terms, if you're uploading an EXT, a EXT or software, a movie clip or whatever, just have re uh, a text file in there and call it whatever you want and include some text in there. And the other thing, uh, you do not want a name like this for your main file. Um, uh, by the way, you can have m as much as, as many files as you want, a as long as you have a README file. You can have more, one or two README files, so as much as you want. Uh, what I was saying, you do not want a name like this be uh, for two reasons. Reason number one, uh, there are search uh, uh, engines out there that can go through uh, hosting sites. Some are legal, some are illegal. That can go into your private um, private files, and if you have a name like this, it can detect it easily, and they can start downloading it. Uh, reason number two: If you have a name like this, the site can detect it as what it's not. For example, this is just a tutorial tutorial on how to watch 3D movies on any PC, but the site may recognize it as a 3D movie or a PC a game or um um on whatever that I'm a share I'm sharing a 3D movie, which is bad. So you want to give it a different name. I'm just gonna. Uh, Uh, you want to name it something like that. It doesn't actually make any sense, but include uh, an underscore and a couple of numbers in there. Let me just copy that. And then what you do is you compress it with the README file.
And uh, that's it, you guys. I'm just going to give the same name to this one. Doesn't You don't have to give the same name as long as you got a name like that. And uh, that's it, you guys. All you have to do is uh, upload it to uh, your site. I'm just going to use Replicator here. This file. Downloads. Here it is. And start uploading. Now, this does not guarantee that your file will remain on the site forever I mean, if it, even it will stay on there even if it gets hundreds or thousand millions of downloads it could get taken down if it gets really populated they might think he's sharing uh, some specific file that you didn't want or you've you figured this out and you're doing it um, but it does guarantee that your file will remain longer than usual if you shared it with the public and uh, that's it for the tutorial, you guys. If you have any, I understood this. Uh, this tutorial was kind of um, advanced. If you have any questions, leave it. Leave a comment below. I'll reply back within forty-eight hours. And like the video and subscribe to my channel. And uh, see you next time.